consider equation number 5. Uh, it says there is a toy which is made by big, uh, fixing two coaxially thin discs of uh, slightly different radii and the rod that is connecting the two is 1 centimeter. So, this L is given over here and it is moving on horizontal ground without slip. So, it is a pure rolling case and it is moving on a circular path about this uh, rod point rotating and the uh, velocity of this uh, uh, center of the rod has been given to us. The question is asking what would be the angular velocity of this toy about the vertical axis. So, we need to visualize this is a three dimensional motion and this good one as a question. So, uh, if you look at look carefully, so these two uh, discs are going to touch the ground, a ground is horizontal of course and this rod that is connecting the two uh, centers is going to be tilted a bit. So, if I draw that uh, rod a little bit enlarging, so this is L is going to be uh, tilted by certain amount and uh, if you join this so that is the first center with the ground this is another center second center with the ground and uh, you will find this is horizontal ground let us say. So, if this is a horizontal ground so you will find uh, we can extend this some sort of this maybe like here and let us say this angle uh, the rotation axis. So, this is axis about which it is rotating basically. So, uh, this axis makes angle theta with the horizontal. This is going to be representing radius r1, this is going to represent radius r2 and the center of this rod is going to be somewhere here. And let us say uh, this distance is r, the distance of that center location. Now, you will find uh, that um, this, this is the two similar triangles we can think of. What are they? They can be constructed like this. If we join this by horizontal, this is going to be vertical, you will find this, this angle is going to be same theta. Now, this distance can be measured as R2 minus R1 and the gap uh, between them is given to us as L. So, this distance is L. Uh, let us check this uh, rod of the length is L. So, we can uh, rewrite and let us say this is going to be L, the rod is this. So, that is a little correction. Moreover, this capital R can be uh, considered for the center from the point here. So, from here to the center point, this is R. Let's now, this midpoint is the C point center of the rod. Now, the two triangle that I was talking about this is a right angle triangle and moreover this triangle with this theta can also be considered and these two are similar triangles. Now, if you apply the 10th um, some sin theta on the upside or sin theta on this, so we can write this uh, like this. Sin theta is going to be for this small triangle perpendicular which is R2 minus R1 divided by uh, hypotenuse which is L. If you apply on the bigger triangle, so you are going to get like this distance. Now, this is R1, this is R2, this is midpoint, so we can say that is average of the two. So, that is basically R2 plus R1 divided by 2 divided by R. This will help us to find the distance of the center from this point about which it is rotating. So, what we are going to get is uh, let us simplify it a bit. So, it is going to be R is equal to uh, R2 plus R1 divided by twice R2 minus R1 into L. Now, you look carefully, we know R1, we know R2, we know L. So, that means we got to know this distance. Now, when it is going to move on a circular path, so how the trajectory is going to look like. So, if you are interested in knowing the trajectory is going to look like from the top view, this will be one center and this will be another. So, the center of the rod somewhere here is going to rotate with angular velocity omega. This angular velocity we need to find. So, this is top view I, I have made it. Now, this distance we have calculated the distance of the center of the rod from the point about which it is rotating. Now, if this is the point, uh, this is omega, this is r and it is the center is moving with the velocity v c. 
So can we write this Vc is going to be equal to R omega. From here the omega we are interested in can we calculate it Vc by R. And what is R? R is this number. We can substitute over here. So omega turn up as Vc which is given to us divided by R. R is basically uh, R2 plus R1 into L divided by so that number will go upside twice times R2 minus R1. So this is kind of formula. Now we can put the values to get our answer. So let's put the values. So it's going to be 2. Vc is 10 centimeter per second. So we are writing in centimeter per second. R2 minus R1. R2 is uh, 10.05. R1 is 9.95 divided by R1 plus R2. So you need to add these numbers. You can do quick, quick calculations as per your speed and L is 1. Okay. Further simplification will lead to uh, is going to be 20 and this will uh, going to be 0 0.1. Downside you will see this will become 20 and into 1 is something like this. So this becomes 0 0.1 radian per second. So 1 upon 10 or 0 0.1 radian per second that will become our final answer. So here the motion was happening in a circular trajectory, circular path on the ground and on this the circle the first disc was rolling on this inner circle and R2 radius disc was rolling in the outer circle. So that was the top view and this was the view uh, for calculation of the distance of the center of the rod from the point about which or from the axis about which it is rotating. Okay, So that is our final answer. Thank you.